Hello, this is Ritik from Bright Champs. So I welcome you to this wonderful session four of our amazing Scratch series. I hope you are completed with level one of the game, right? And now it's time to add something even better to that wonderful game. Okay, so let's get started. All of you open your Scratch screens and I think now it's time to make the game even better. So now the page looks something like this, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on see inside. See on the right side, it is written see inside. Okay. So I just click on see inside. Now I can do the coding once again. Now see the game is very simple right now, but what if you're playing three or more of your friends, how will you decide who wins the game? For that, what we'll do, we'll add a timer to the game. Okay. Very simply, it will say that you can only play for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, the game will automatically stop. And we can just count how many strawberries were collected. That sounds good, right? First thing is, let's do one thing. Let's make the timer. That is, if 30 minutes, 30 seconds are over, the game will stop. Let's do one thing. Let's click on the fish. Code is very simple once again. First, when the green flag start, right? Because the timer will start when the game starts. Now, something new that we are going to learn. Let's click on variables. See, uh, it is orange in color. Now, before using them, let's understand what are variables, okay? Variables are like storage boxes. So let's say I have a glass, right? It's empty. So this glass is a variable. I can put water inside it. That will be its value. I can put maybe cold drink inside it. The value changes. I can put milk inside it. Value changes. Okay. Or I can put maybe anything else inside it. And again, the value changes. So variable is like a storage box or a container. Just like your Almira. Almira is the variable. Sometimes you put clothes inside it. Sometimes you put, let's say you're keeping food inside it or anything else inside it. So the one thing that is storing the other thing is the variable and what goes inside it is the value. In the timer, the time is the variable and the time that will change 30, 29, 28, 27, these seconds will be its value. Let's actually make it and you will find it even easier. Let's click on make a variable and I call it as time and I click on OK. Very simple. Now see, when the game will start, the timer will always start at what? 30 seconds, right? So I take the first block, set my variable to zero. I add it right here. I select time and I set it to 30. So whenever the game will start, the timer will always start at 30. Let's click on green flag, see does it work? Okay, it is 30. But what do we want? We want the time to change also, right? We want it to get less every second. For that, very simple. You have to understand very carefully. Now see, I want my time to change, right? Now see, just below that set block, there's another block that says change my variable by one. Let's add it here. And we want to change time. So we select time and see. It starts at 30, then it gets 29, then it's get 28. So it's getting minus one every time, right? 30 minus one, 29, 29 minus one, 28. So I will write here minus one, okay? But how do I actually make it happen? Very simply, I will say, uh, you know, mm, I'll show you first. Let's say I click on controls. Second. Now see, what I'm saying is, I have to keep repeating, that is I will, uh, repeat till the time is zero. Now, so you will find a block here that says repeat until. Okay, just take this block and add it here. Now, what do I, what am I saying? I have to repeat until the time equals to zero, right? So what I'm using an equal to block. I go to operators, the green ones, and I take the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighth block from the top. I again add it inside the repeat until. Now what I want to say, time equal to zero. So equal to is here. Where do I find time? In the variables. I click variables. I get the second block of time. I add it and I select zero. So I have to repeat until the time is zero. And what will I do? I will change time by minus one. But one more thing. After when it is 30, it will wait for one second then it will get 29. Then it will wait for one second. Then it will get 28. Then it will wait for one second. Then get 27, right? 
So what do we want? You are correct. We want the weight block. I go to controls, take wait one seconds and add it right here. Let's try to make it happen now. Let's click on the green chart. 39, 30, 29, 28, 27. Perfect. Timer is working and I can keep eating the strawberry and the strawberry will keep going to new places. But what else do I want? I want that when the timer is zero, the game has to stop. That's the main goal, right? I will very simply do one thing. I will just now see now again a condition. If timer equal to zero, stop the game, right? I'll just do one thing. Uh, I'll take the if block. Time equal to zero. We already know how to make that, right? We go to operators. We get the block equal to time. We will find in variables. And instead of 50, I'll write here zero. So if time equal to zero, what do I want? Stop the game, right? Click on control and you will find a block here that says stop all. So I just take it, select it. But this has to happen all the time in the game, right? So when I say all the time, I think you already got the answer. Very good. It is forever block. Amazing. I put it inside forever and I add the crown. That is the green flag. Let's try to make it happen. Does it even work? Click on the green flag. I am playing the game, I select one strawberry, I select two strawberry, I select strawberry number three, I select strawberry number four, five, and six, seven, okay, and eight, and nine, okay, strawberry number ten, strawberry number eleven, and strawberry number twelve. Okay, now I cannot move anything because the game has stopped. See, now even if I go to the strawberry, uh, strawberry is not going to a new place. Why? Because the game has stopped, the game is over. Okay, but you know, again, I think one problem there is, it will be even better, right? That the strawberries that I'm collecting, they are automatically displayed. Like, just like we have the timer. Similarly, I can have another number, right? Which will show me how many strawberries am I eating. I click on strawberry for it and what do I say so if touching the starfish I will add one score to the strawberry for that I go to variables I click on make a variable and I can make a new variable let's say strawberry okay strawberry and I click on okay now see I have another variable so what I will say that it will start at zero because every time whenever anyone will play it will start at zero so set strawberry to zero but if that is the starfish, it goes to a new place, right? Along with that, I will add one score to the strawberry. So I will say change strawberry by one and I will add it right here. Let's try. Does it work? Now, see, every time I touch the strawberry, the score increases by one, right? Wonderful. Okay. So now Whenever you will play with your friends, all of you have 30 seconds and you can check who is the final winner. Okay, so that was the level 2 of our scratch game. Make sure to always click on file on the left and click on save now. It will get saved properly. Okay, now think your own ideas, start working on even better games and let me know what are you working on. Okay, so this was session 4 of this wonderful scratch series and I hope you are having fun, right? Let's see you in the next session where we are going to add some wonderful things and make it like an actual game that you find on the internet. Okay, so bye bye. See you.